My name's Ash Coxon. I'm Pete Johnson. So I'm Michael Wan. I'm Richard Turner. I'm Carolyn Murray. I'm Janine Greenhill. My name's Ian Wilson. My name is Peter Barton. I'm Shoma Dutt. Robin Adams. My name is Karen Scott. I'm Rob Weller. My name's Jessica. My name is Jennifer Keyes. Hi, I'm Lyndall Parker Newland. Philip and Paul. Michael Shanahan. My name is Mark Cohenberg. I'm a general practitioner um, and I'm from Townsville. James Cook, uni in Townsville. Working in the uh, University of Notre Dame, Sydney. I work at UniSA and I'm, I'm an occupational therapy lecturer there. The rural Clinical School for Flinders University. And I work at Moynash University. University of Wollongong School of Medicine. Sydney University Medical Program. I'm a final year student dietitian. I'm from Flinders University. Sydney Medical School based at the Children's Hospital at Westmead Clinical School. Head of Rehab Medicine at Austin Health in Melbourne. The University of Wollongong. From the University of Auckland. Flinders University. From the University of Tasmania. Clinical Dean at Western Sydney University in Camertown Hospital. And I work for the Council of Deans of Health Sciences. They're the universities who teach allied health professionals. The best part of the conference has been um, just seeing the amount of research out there that's going on and just being really inspired by people who are interested in similar things to me and um, gives you a push along to do some more research and look into the areas that you're interested in. And it's too cold here. But other than that, the conferences have been great, especially around the transitions theme, because it's something that we're actually very interested in. So seeing all the wonderful practice and research that, that's going on yeah. around Australia. I like the parallel sections uh, where you can choose your own area of interest and then you can then sit in and listen to the oral presentation of the interesting new innovative design and innovative um, methods. The best thing is the eclectic mix of short papers that people are giving. The keynote speaker this morning on cultural safety was um, very interesting, very enlightening. I am a real Anzapi fan. I've been part of Anzapi for many years and so yeah, for me it's always the collegiality and this is um, people who are my community of practice around um, passionate about education. That's always the highlight of the conference. This morning's plenary I thought was an outstanding plenary. Um, inequity and uh, issues of racism are big challenges and I thought that was an outstanding uh, challenge to us all this morning. Always enjoy the keynotes, you know, understanding the transitions and also the video presentations keeps you in touch with where students and graduates are. That's always important. What I've really enjoyed is hearing how different disciplines deal with exactly the same kind of problems because they're universal problems with, you know, getting a curriculum across and, you know, how do you benchmark that you've achieved the standards that you want to. I don't know that I can single any one thing out, I think. I've really enjoyed the interactions with the other um, attendees and learning about their ways of teaching and, and good strategies that they've found. So I've hit a bit of a writer's block with my studies and um, this has got me back into an academic headspace, being inspired by other people's research. Lots of interesting people to talk to, to work with. I've just seen so much, um, I've learnt so much from the symposiums and there's actually, it's opened my eyes to all these different opportunities. That's some very exciting new work, I think. Um, I've learnt a lot about qualitative analysis, which is not a strength of mine, so, uh, and also about the more professional attributes and how we might select for them and how we might um, teach them and how we might assist them. Understanding and listening to Dennis McDermott, who gave us a fantastic talk on uh, cultural inclusion and sensitivity for uh, uh, for the um, work that we do with Indigenous uh, uh, people in our uh, health service. So we had a Pearls um, session this afternoon on the OSCEs and some of the pitfalls and so on. I found that tremendously useful for my own practice as a fairly new clinical dean in this way and I've um, picked up multiple things that I want to take back. I think always, apart from all the interesting presentations, the best thing about this is networking. It's actually about meeting old friends, meeting new friends, finding out what everyone else is doing, because you get ideas, you get research ideas and teaching ideas and so often it's the what happens here in the coffee break is important as what happens in the lecture theatre. I've been um, writing down big lists of things and then going back, back to my hotel room and thinking about what, uh, what, what we can do to improve things back home and make things better for our students. Currently got an interest in, in transition, there are some issues around problematic um, transitions and what constitutes that something around evaluative judgment has been good as well. There's been a lot of talk on um, the teaching of registrars and the best way to actually do teaching so I think I'm going to take a few tips back on how to how to better teach registrars. I recently encountered some of the presentation about simulation work 
um, in the clinical um, environment for the medical students. So especially in the rural setting, and that might be able to bring it back some of the ideas back to the school. There's a whole lot of interesting things to see. I think it's good to see things that I mightn't have otherwise even thought about. So it does push the boundaries a little bit. That's good. Uh, networks. I've met a few people, listened to some really interesting presentations this morning and getting myself ready to present this afternoon. We can start to stretch people's imaginations about the way in which we might be able to do it, it education in, in different ways and, and be quite creative and challenge the status quo. Progress test collaborations and uh, so that's something that really makes a difference in our everyday working and so we can certainly take that discussion forward as, uh, after this conference. Always networking and I'm meeting more and different people here, always. Yeah. Right. Meeting like-minded individuals, finding people to collaborate with on things that are important. Supervisor capabilities and providing feedback avoiding that failing to fail problem. Certainly one thing I'll try and do is collaboration with other centres here in, um, sorry, back in Sydney in um, New South Wales, but again to go back and actually really try and integrate some of the, um, the junior doctors with the exams. I listened to one really inspiring research presentation this morning on uh, touch and he got me thinking about different ways to introduce touch into the teaching of clinical skills. So that was something unexpected. In the plenary yesterday there was a uh, a series of videos of people telling their stories about where they came from and how they got there. That is so powerful. We should be doing that with our students, with our graduates, with our students as they transition through different parts of the course to actually record their stories because there's so many amazing stories that we know but the students behind us don't ever hear. 